Many of us have found it humorous to watch the ads on television that start out with, Hi, I'm a Mac, and I'm a PC. We find it humorous because it relates to the PCs that we use every day, and it tries to tell us that the PCs that we use are inefficient, obsolete, and we're not really sure what to think sometimes when we see those ads. It's very clever because the intention is to redefine how we see the PC that we use on a regular basis. To redefine it for us in a way that makes us believe that that PC is probably just out of date, not as good as those Macs that everybody else seems to have. It's interesting because the reality is that Mac PCs and Windows PCs probably have many of the same problems that they tease us about in those ads. It is possible for a Mac PC to actually lock up like they tell you that your Windows PC will. It is possible for a Mac to get a virus even though it's maybe less likely because there are fewer people writing viruses to attack them. But the ad is to redefine how you see your PC so that you will choose a Mac that you are taught to believe has none of those problems. It's interesting because today there are those that would like to redefine how we see the church. There was those that would like to overstate what they think of as the problems with the way the conference system works. They would tell us that we ought to keep all of our tithe at the local church because we don't need to send it to the conference. We'll use it better here locally. They point to the few mega churches around North America that are not associated with the Adventist system, and they'll tell us that those great mega churches are great because they use all of their local funds, all of their tithe to help their local ministry. The truth is, over 90% of all churches in North America, outside the Adventist system and inside the Adventist system, are under 100 members. And most of those keep their tithe locally, but it doesn't change the size of the church. It's interesting because those churches outside the Adventist system look at our system and say, how can you have so great a mission around the world? How can you reach so many countries and send missionaries so many places? And the answer is, because we're not selfish with our tithe. Our tithe is a built system to send people wherever the mission needs to go. Our tithe is sent locally as well as worldwide. And so we can't allow people to redefine whether the conference is efficient or obsolete based upon what they think may be a better use of the tithe. Our system has the strongest world mission because of the way our structure is designed, because of the way the tithe is designed to go to the mission and fulfill the mission. You know, I've heard it said, wouldn't it be a great idea if we could take all of the tithe dollars and, and as much of the offering dollars as we possibly could to send missionaries into every community all across the state of Florida? Wouldn't it be great if we could send missionaries into every significant population group and every significant community so that we could reach people with the message of Jesus before He comes? It's interesting because that is what we do. The tithe dollar that's used today by the Florida Conference, more than any other use, by far, is to send missionaries into every possible community and population group across the state of Florida. Every time we send a pastor, every time we send a teacher, it is a missionary into those communities. And that's what tithe dollars are used for. Somehow we have allowed others to redefine what they think the tithe does. Somehow people have tried to tell us that when you send that tithe dollar to the conference, that somehow it is absorbed into that deep, dark recess known as the conference office and poof, it just disappears into the vapor. But that's not true. The truth is, those dollars pay the salaries of teachers and pastors who serve communities, who are missionaries all over the state of Florida. In the ministerial department, I've had a unique context to work in where I have 
worked with local churches, as we have gone through some difficult times over the last number of years, we have had to see cutbacks take place, not laying off because of finances, but as we have had a reducing financial picture, as people have retired or left the state, as workers have left, we have reduced the workforce in order to keep a, a balanced budget. And in doing that, I've been the one who oftentimes has sat down with a church board and had to explain to that church board that you'll no longer have a pastor to yourself as a congregation. You'll now be sharing that pastor with the congregation nearby. And I've looked in their faces and I've seen the disappointment and I've seen that what it means to them is they realize that their mission will somehow be diminished because they won't have a full-time energy and the full-time support, the full-time resources and talents of a pastor to help them reach their community. And so I've seen what happens when we reduce the tithe. I've seen what happens when we have less tithe available to send missionaries, pastors and teachers into these communities. And so I don't think we need to have less tithe and fewer missionaries, fewer pastors. I think we need to have more. I think we need to have more pastors and more teachers being sent all across the state to reach the communities of people and to lead our members in service to those communities to have an impact for Jesus. We have very little time to be prepared. We have little time to help people learn of the grace of God. And so now is not the time to reduce. Now is the time for us to increase our effort and send more missionaries. I think of the time when Adventist churches, Adventist conferences were really not about running institutions and really not about holding properties, but they really were the organization at the beginning of this church's history that were all about being missionary sending societies. The conference was not about a building and not about a place as we sometimes think today. The conference was what we really need to be. The conference was a missionary sending society looking across the territory, trying to decide where are the places we need to send a missionary next, and using the tithe that was coming from the field to choose the pastor, the teacher, the evangelist, and send those as missionaries to help the churches be birthed and to grow and to fulfill the gospel commission that we are sent with. And so we need to grow in this area. And we need to make sure that we are not redefining what the conference is as just an institution there somewhere in the city, but that the conference is a missionary sending society. Let's help it be that. Let's all join together to do what we cannot do alone and send more missionaries to places where people need to know Jesus. Pray with me for that and help us to make it happen.